Welcome fish lovers to Sax Tanks. We're gonna do an unboxing video today. I got some fish, some frozen food, and some new other aquarium stuff. Enjoy! So we're gonna see what I got today. You can see <laughs> I put in two Brissonol plecos and they did wonders for the background. You can see how much brown algae and hair algae and the background and the sides the sides of the tank was totally, uh, totally covered in brown algae and 24 hours later ancestors a pair of ancestors uh, brisonal cycl uh, cichlids plecos did the job but they don't clean the leaves very good so and I don't want the dragon puffer to eat them so I'm gonna put in another cleanup crew that I got today and this is gonna help if I just let it go with duckweed in there again I was just getting rid of the, all of it oh well but this uh, floating plant will take over the whole tank and the algae will, will disappear but in the meantime some other stuff can help with that as well you can see what I got here a pack of bloodworms they were actually out I wanted to buy a big block of bloodworms but they were out they have been out for a couple of times now so I had to buy these small ones I want to buy a big half a kilo or a kilo this doesn't last a long while in my fish room here we go more frozen food this is white mosquito larva and I usually buy this as live food and get them. sorry no. white mosquito larva because I want to I have noticed that the Amazon puffer love this too so now I can get them to eat frozen krill frozen bloodworms and frozen, uh, frozen white mosquito larva and that's good because you want them to eat different kinds of food when you don't have a snail that is small that are small enough for them sorry it's early morning here can't talk and of course the good heart stentger mix super expensive 25 bucks but when you feed this to the discus for a month they grow tremendously well so it's a pretty good mix but pretty pricey half a kilo what is that a pound for 25 bucks no more 28 bucks and here we have the mean little bastards but supposed to be good cleaners but a terrible bag can't see anything Chinese algae eaters four of them pretty good size on them they're gonna go in and acclimate and hopefully the dragon puffer is gonna get used to having cleanup crew at least but we'll see because he doesn't eat all the snails that I put in live snails everybody different sizes doesn't eat them it's hard with some puffers and that one seems to be really hard and least but not last but not least is how you say it another bad boy so I don't know I talked about this in my live stream that I did uh, yesterday but won't be yesterday for when I put this video out but I did a live stream and on the live stream I talked about this 
I'm thinking about having this one on the goldfish tank because yeah how many rainbows do I got in here five four four it's a lot of rainbows 15 rainbows and a lot of fantails and 18 corridoras and about seven bristle nose plecos so to I'm thinking about taking out that fluval streamer to the right over there. <clears throat> Sorry, over there. And adding another FX6. And it could be behind my awesome chair. So, either that or I'm saving it for the next big tank that I also talked about in the live stream. I'm getting a bigger tank. My biggest tank yet is probably on the way. It's not 100% yet, but I'm sketching on the measurements and I want it to be pretty big front to back and really high like the turtle tank, but also pretty long, so it would look amazing. But enough about that, that's the, just teasing about what is coming and I also got another water change kit because you if you see my channel I have a lot of tanks and you should have at least two so you can have if you have some diseases or problems in a tank you can use this one or the old one for that tank and this new one for all the other tanks so you don't uh, spread any virus or bacteria from water to water so this just marina aqua whack is it's 15 meters long what's that in feet 45 feet 50 feet yeah it says right there right 50 feet so that was the unboxing new stuff new food now i'm gonna feed the fish change water in the goldfish tank and yeah hope to see you in another video bye for now so I decided to take apart the new blue wheel fx6 and I love these filters this is my blue wheel fx6 number four actually and I haven't shown you a video when I installed them and I won't do that now it's really easy but I'm gonna have it behind the seat over there and move it back and forth because I need some uh, filter media bags, ceramic media bags that I have kept in there. It's a really big space behind that over there. I think I have four or five kilos. So I'm gonna take out two bags and put them in this one because the FX6 only comes with can show you this amount of ceramic so you can buy more ceramic filter media but this is a bag that's been going for I think six weeks in the other tank and I always do my FX6 like this I can show you that I don't do it as they do it because I found this way to be much easier so this is the bottom one, I put one of these sponges here and either take this away and put a bigger sponge but I'm going to try the sponge this time to get the absolute best flow. Then I have another filter media sponge there. Then layer number two, they give you a fine mesh filter foam. Not super fine, but pretty fine. You, get, you can see through it, so. And then, that on, on top of that. So now we have all the fine filtration in the middle, on top of each other. And then put in ceramic, layer number two. And layer number three, it's gonna be only ceramic. So, another bag in here. And these ones on top. And then, we are done.
And that's how I do it. I have four now, so you learn during the pro uh, progress of cleaning them and look at the ceramic. You don't want uh, the water heating the ceramic too soon because they will be too dirty so you have to clean them and I usually take this out and not clean them and only clean the sponges in so I clean the sponges in uh, tap water and I save the ceramic and don't rinse that at all or if I have to rinse it I rinse it in uh, aquarium water of course but now that I have two epic six and a huge hang on back I can clean all of this in tap water then after three months I can clean the other one because this one will have enough to not to make the tank crash so that's <laughs> that's why I have so much filtration because it's easier for me when I clean the filters if I can take whole the whole ba uh, <laughs> bucket of filtration and do it right down the sink and then start over every time because now I have two so I can do that so I love to have two filters you can clean one in, in uh, chlorine water and we don't have much chlorine water in uh, Sweden actually at least in this part of Sweden where I live we have pretty great aquarium water goldfish shouldn't even need to have aqua safe in the water or prime or you know what I mean but we do that anyway just because as a precaution but that is how I do my epic 6 so I decided that I'm gonna put it on the goldfish tank so I said it before don't judge me when I'm creating it's a huge mess but I'm gonna do that now and then I can show you the video where I put it in the tank and while I have it started so see you in a bit guys this has been going for six months in the hang on back on the goldfish tank so the same tank that, I'm, that it's going to go into now yeah I don't need to show you this again but this underneath this then we are finished see when it's installed so I'm still working on the FX6, the FX6 number 2 for the goldfish tank and I wanted to show you another trick because the warranty and the guarantee that, uh, that Fluel sets out is if you change the rubber connections once a year and I have a lot of these so I do it like this I take this simple uh, cable tie and put uh, around this part and same on the part for the out outtake I do that even there so to use these cable ties right around where the connection usually leaks after a while it will last a lot longer you can you can change them but I don't want to change them unless it's been like five to six years. So a cable tie or nothing, just to be sure that the filter won't leak. So these don't fit over the edges of the big tank. So here's how they look from the start. And I don't have as many tools as I want, but I have a knife and I'm a chef so I have this tool so I just heat probably will do that here hard to do with one hand really a thick plastic but this will make it melt through the plastic like butter
And there we go. See? Piece is off. That's the piece that's in the way. Because the aluminum uh, edges on the tank is really wide, so I have to do something. This was a lot easier than the thing I tried last time, so I wanted to show you that. Some tips and tricks. So, now we are done installing the FX6. Took me about 30 40 minutes. I didn't rush it. it. Will take you 10 minutes if you have it on an empty tank so you can choose wherever you want to put it. But it's really easy to install. And now I'm pretty satisfied with the short hoses that I cut because all canister filters run best if they have really short hose a really short hose so the water don't, don't ha have to travel so far to the canister so we're gonna put this baby on now and I placed it I used that one for the output and the intake I didn't need one because it's in the corner here so had to move the huge Java fern little bit in the front to make room space for the FX6. Now we're gonna try it out. Hopefully I've done this right now so and of course you have to pre-fill it with water. I have done that as well. The old turtle cave. Oh man, I don't know how many of these I have, but I think it's like 25 now in my apartment. Looks like it's working really good. And I always take the hose a little bit too long. And if I don't like it, I can make it shorter. But if you make it too short, you can't do anything about it. I already cut the hose, so that's why it's so long. I will see if I'm happy having it like this. Not much to look at now. It's gonna blow out air for a couple of minutes. And yeah, we can come back when it's fully functioning. But it's been fun. Love filters. I don't know why. <laughs> Can never go wrong with more filters on your tanks. A lot of air. Lucky the tank wasn't totally filled up. Otherwise I would have water on the floor right now. So, <laughs> see you in the next bit guys. So now that I have uh, an extra FX6 on the goldfish tank, I don't need it. This, this is Fluwell streamer, the Fluwell C, the biggest one they carry. So it can make the focus, yeah, there we go, the biggest one. And I think that will be good for the turtle tank, because as you can see, I have a lot of fish in here and the tank is really tall. So when you have a tall tank, uh, the bottom can actually be, can actually, uh, be a different kind of water, much less ox oxygen and higher pH and stuff like that. So you need the water to circle around. An FX6 should do the job, but I have it so uh, close to the surface because I want I want a lot of air in the water because I have so much fish. So I'm thinking about installing this one over there so it can swirl around a little bit more. So that's job num 
jo <laughs> that's job one now. So I'm gonna do that and show you after. So here we go. Fluel streamer on this wall. And it's stirring up everything from the bottom. So hopefully the tank will be cleaner and the water columns uh, mix together easier. I love streamers. Can do a lot with the streamer. And it's e and it's a lot cheaper than buying another filter. So we're gonna take a look at finished off goldfish tank now. Stay tuned. So here is the tank with two FX6 installed. I turned the nozzles the other way because I thought that looked cooler. So I'm gonna do that with the other one. Too. I had to move the Java fern to the front, like I said, but they don't. It didn't disturb the look of the tank as much as I thought it would be. Would so I'm happy with that. All the fish seem super happy. No streamer, another filter instead. Oh yeah, the streamer was always uh, adjusted to the top of the tank, so now they can swim in the top column over there as well. Play with the filter. <laughs> this is great because I have so so heavy heavily stocked with fish, so. I wanted to do something about it. And the potos plant can't do all the work. All these plants and the potos plants and two FX6 filters and a hang on back filter. Now I can enjoy this tank in peace. Sorry about the glare, some aquarium videos on the TV. But yeah. Fish looks super happy. Some of the new goldfish still has some weird things going on, but, but with my quality food and clean water, they will look awesome in a couple of months. And the Parkinsona rainbow is living the life. <laughs> really taking a turn in the tank. So, all fish are healthy. And loving another another filter. So, I think this going to work out pretty great. So, as always, subscribe if you haven't, and like the video if you do like the video. And I still have my t-shirts available, they're gonna be available for quite some time now. I made t-shirts for the, the gals, of course, also now. So I have Crazy Aquarium Guy, Crazy Aquarium Gal. And the link uh, to the t-shirts will be in the description 
of all the videos from now on and I would really appreciate if you support me by buying a t-shirt because the money that I get from the t-shirts I'm gonna invest them directly into the fish room so I have more fun stuff to do and more fun stuff to show you guys and also for me to enjoy of course but if you don't want to buy t-shirts that's okay I'm just super happy that you're you are a subscriber to my channel and leaving nice comments and support me in other ways so have a good day fish lovers this was a long day for me but I think would make a great video today all of this is the same day early in the morning and now it's 10 minutes past midnight and I've been filming and doing stuff all day so tank on people bye fish lovers